If you've ever found yourself tossing and turning at night, wishing there was a magic formula for the perfect bedtime, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the science of sleep. From the best bedtime to how sleep cycles work and even how to calculate your own ideal sleep schedule. Get ready to turn your bedroom into a sleep sanctuary. Let's get started. So what's the science-backed best time to go to bed? It turns out that the ideal bedtime isn't one size fits all. It usually falls between 10 p.m. and midnight. This range aligns with our natural circadian rhythms, which are like our internal clocks, guiding our sleep-wake cycles. Going to bed during this window can enhance the quality of your sleep. Here's a pro tip. Try to be consistent with your bedtime. This stabilizes your internal clock and makes falling asleep and waking up smoother and more natural. How does the sleep cycle work? Each night, your body cycles through different stages of sleep. Light sleep, deep sleep, and rapid eye movement, aka REM sleep. This cycle repeats approximately every 90 to 110 minutes. Quality sleep involves progressing through these stages multiple times. Understanding these cycles is the key to waking up refreshed instead of groggy and exhausted. Ideally, you want to wake up at the end of a sleep cycle, not in the middle. Apps and sleep trackers can help you monitor these cycles and time your sleep perfectly. To figure out the best time to go to bed, consider your age, lifestyle, and personal circadian rhythm. For instance, teens naturally tend to go to sleep later and wake up later. Also, exposure to natural light during the day and darkness at night helps reinforce your body's natural rhythm. Pro tip, dim the lights and turn off screens at least an hour before bed to signal to your body that it's time to wind down. One common question people wonder is, does the need for sleep change with age? The answer, absolutely. Newborns will usually need up to 17 hours a day, but by the time you're an adult, you typically need between seven to nine hours of sleep. As we age, sleep patterns continue to change, often leading to earlier bedtimes and wake times. Remember, quality over quantity becomes crucial as you age, so focus on making your sleep environment as comfortable and conducive to rest as possible. If you're clocking eight hours and still feel fatigued during the day, the culprit could be poor sleep quality or interrupted sleep cycles. Factors like stress, electronic devices in the bedroom, and an inconsistent sleep schedule can wreak havoc on the quality of your sleep. Pro tip, evaluate your sleep environment and daily habits to ensure they're optimized for restful sleep. It's generally healthier to sleep at night. Our bodies are designed to respond to the light-dark cycle. Natural light during the day helps keep our internal clocks accurately set, promoting alertness. Darkness triggers the release of melatonin, a hormone that promotes sleep. Shift workers who sleep during the day often struggle with sleep disorders and other health issues due to this disruption in their circadian rhythm. Improving sleep quality can be as simple as maintaining a regular sleep routine. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Make your bedroom a sleep haven, cool, dark, and quiet. If you're easily disturbed, consider investing in blackout curtains, earplugs, or white noise machines. Also, limit caffeine and heavy meals before bedtime to give your body the best chance at uninterrupted sleep. Most adults benefit from completing four to six sleep cycles per night. This translates to about seven to nine hours of sleep, depending on the length of your individual sleep cycles. Understanding and tracking your sleep cycles can help you feel more rested by ensuring you wake up between cycles, rather than during deep sleep. Figuring out the perfect time to go to bed and wake up might sound like a math problem, but it doesn't have to be complicated. A sleep calculator can be a game changer. Simply input your desired wake-up time, and the sleep calculator will work backward to suggest the best time to go to sleep based on typical sleep cycle durations. This tool considers the average time it takes to fall asleep, about 15 minutes, and helps make sure you wake up at the end of a sleep cycle feeling refreshed. Play around with these tools to find your optimal sleep schedule. Many people often ask, are power naps good for restful sleep? The truth is, napping can be a double-edged sword. While a well-timed power nap can boost alertness and brain function, napping too late in the day or for too long can actually disrupt your nighttime sleep. The ideal nap duration is around 20 to 30 minutes, which is just enough to recharge without entering deep sleep stages that can leave you feeling groggy. So if you're feeling the afternoon slump, a quick nap can be your secret weapon. Just be sure to watch the timing and duration to avoid interfering with your regular sleep schedule. Another common question people ask is, what is sleep debt and how can it be repaid? Sleep debt 
is the accumulated sleep deficit that builds up when you consistently don't get enough sleep. It's like a credit card for sleep. The more you borrow, meaning the more you stay awake, the more sleep you have to pay back. Symptoms of sleep debt include fatigue, difficulty concentrating, irritability, and increased susceptibility to illness. The best way to repay sleep debt is by making sleep a top priority and getting extra rest whenever possible. This might mean going to bed earlier, sleeping in on weekends, or taking naps. Consistency is key. The more regular your sleep schedule, the easier it will be to manage sleep debt and maintain optimal sleep health. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to serious health issues such as cognitive decline, mood disorders, and an increased risk of diseases like diabetes and heart disease. It can impair judgment, reaction time, and other brain functions. Getting the recommended amount of sleep helps keep your physical health on track and boost your mental and emotional well-being. Remember, while the science offered here provides tips and guidelines, the best sleep schedule is the one that works specifically for you and your unique lifestyle. Happy sleeping, and may your dreams be as sweet as this new sleep knowledge.